For over 20 years, the State Partnership Program has connected the armed forces and government personnel of partner countries with the National Guard in cooperative, mutually beneficial relationships. The Missouri National Guard had the privilege of hosting a delegation from their Panamanian partners during a recent visit that focused on disaster response. response to a white cell exercise of a catastrophic event that happens in Kansas City. And the Guardia Nacional de Missouri this week is participating in the response vibrant. The capacity of reaction that you have in the group 7, which is very important for Panama, right? En el servicio aeronave conocer de las capacidades que tiene este grupo y cómo cómo trabaja, cómo reaccionan y el equipamiento que tiene. Las amenazas más probables que nosotros tenemos con un canal de Panamá que es importante para todo el mundo. The Panamanians had the opportunity to visit with several units, including the Homeland Response Force, decontamination and search and extraction teams. Es importante porque vemos la organización, la forma en cómo el estado de Missouri trata de resolver un problema ya sea creado por el hombre o un desastre natural y esto nos da ejemplos de cómo podemos trabajar en nuestro país, de cómo las autoridades eh, militares y civiles se pueden, pueden llevar a cabo una tarea en bien de minimizar lo que son las, las afectaciones de este tipo de tragedias. One exchange showcased the latest personal protective gear and gave the Panamanians hands-on experience with the equipment and decontamination procedures. The delegation also toured the Joint Operations Center, or JOC, at the Ike Skelton training site in Jefferson City during exercise vibrant response, a national-level training exercise on disaster response. The State Partnership Program is administered by the National Guard Bureau, guided by State Department foreign policy goals, and executed by State's Adjutant General. The delegation met with Major General Steve Danner, the Missouri Adjutant General, while touring the jock. And then I was just down in January and uh, visited uh, the, uh, the, expansion the, the, the expansion, yes, uh, the, the Gautun Locks. After the JOC tour, the Panamanian delegation toured the State Emergency Management Agency, also located at the Ike Skelton training site. La visita a las instalaciones del cuartel general siempre que se llevan estos entrenamientos son buenos porque nos hacen ver eh, la capacidad de organización que tiene tanto la Guardia Nacional como interactúa con FIMA, con el CIMA, y esto nos hace entender que quizás tenemos que hacer algunos ajustes en nuestra organización para poder trabajar de, de mejor manera. The Panamanian delegation also visited the state capitol in Jefferson City, touring the capitol rotunda and grounds. The visit was also an opportunity for the Missouri National Guard to learn how the Panamanians operate with sometimes limited resources in remote regions. Los soldados se han visto en la necesidad de aprender cómo nosotros resolvemos nuestros problemas sin la cantidad de equipo y tecnologías que ustedes tienen. Y ha sido básicamente eso, pues ver que los problemas se pueden resolver quizás sin tener las, las herramientas de última generación. The State Partnership Program also involves Missouri National Guardsmen visiting Panama to reciprocate the information exchange. A couple of years ago, there was a fires that broke out in their landfills. There was not a lot of regulating that was going on in their landfills. They had uh, fires raging for three days. With some help, they were able to get that taken care of. The ambassador then at that time asked if we could come over there and have an exchange on their landfills. Colonel Segovia and her team have also worked to develop relationships with non-governmental organizations from both countries. Children's Mercy Hospital in Kansas City is partnered with Hospital Del Nino in Panama. They exchange doctors and nurses in one month at a time to share information for what's the best thing for these children. That's been a, a really great thing that the Missouri Guard was able to put them together 
but now they're operating completely on their own. With nearly 70 state partnerships worldwide, the National Guard conducts military to military engagements in support of defense security goals. Mutual exchanges in education, medicine, law, business, and the non-governmental sector often emerge between U.S. states and their partners through enduring professional, personal, and institutional relationships. You got to make sure that you get the key leadership that can take what they're learning and sharing because they're sharing information with us as well and can incorporate that when they get back to Panama. And it's to establish enduring relationships and the reason why it was housed underneath the National Guard is because we're enduring.